25 millimeters per second. Printing concrete, showing off the material and the method that will lead to the first 3D printed concrete home in the city of Southfield. And we've been designing all summer. We're actually developing a whole series of different houses. Carl Dobman and Sarah Coterine are the architects from Lawrence Tech behind the project. We think that it's important to develop this technology and this knowledge here in Michigan because of the ecosystem. There's so much capacity for manufacturing. <laughs> It's a mission focused on the future of design and construction, more durable materials, which will hopefully lead to more affordable housing. We've been actively looking to bring new housing to our community. As you know, the city, like the rest of the country, is short of affordable housing and housing in general. Rochelle Freeman is the business and economic development director for the city of Southfield. Fresh new housing units always bring new families, and that's what we're looking for. It's not yet decided where the new home will be located, but they're hoping to get started in the spring and have the home completed within a year. And who knows what after that? These technologies allow us to be able to customize things. So different homeowners, different sites, different views, all of these different things could actually allow us to produce a customized home for people. And I think as we talk about affordable housing, what we're what we're really interested in as designers is the kind of dignity for a person that lives there. Dobbin says affordability means more than just price. We're not going to talk about about how cheap the house will be, but how long it's going to last, what it's going to mean to maintain it, how how efficient it will be to operate and just how inspiring it will be to live in the house. Interested in learning more about this whole 3D printing process? Well, this will be on display through the end of the month. It is Detroit's month of design. You can visit 1001 Woodward to check it all out. In Detroit, I'm Amy Lang, Fox 2 News.